Good morning students, this is Mrs. Heisenbuttle and today I'm going to try and give you a brief sort of how to do a dragster body uh, for our science of technology course. So as you can see I have a crude drawing here of what I want my car to look like. So basically what I've got is basic car shape with a hollow center and I'm going to put my wheels on the outside so it's going to be a modified rail car just because I kind of just want to give you an example it is not super difficult to do so I'm going to actually spin my car around as you can see to the bottom and I'm going to create on the very because the bottom is flat the top of the block is angled and so it's hard to draw on an angled surface with Autodesk Inventor so I'm just going to draw from the bottom <laughs> and make my life easier. So I'm actually just going to take a little rectangle tool and I'm going to draw right on here. Now the trick to making this work is the dimensioning. So I need it to be uh, 13 millimeters approximately at its thinnest point, which makes this, you'll notice, pretty narrow, especially if I do that on both sides that leaves me a very narrow cutting area but I'm telling you now that's better than having an area that is too thick because if it's too th if you cut out too much you're gonna break your car so I want 13 millimeters of space around it now I want to line this back piece up here at about I know that the the CO2 cartridge comes from the back in about 80 millimeters. So I'm actually, just to be on the safe side, gonna put this one at 90. So that way I've got 10 millimeters of, which is approximately a centimeter of slide either way. Now, if I screw it up, I can always come back and fix it too. So I'm gonna finish my sketch. And now you can see, there it is. And there it is on the bottom. So I'm actually just gonna click on the line extrude, I'm going to click on the center piece, and I'm going to make a cut distance all the way through. And now I'm going to spin it to make sure, oh, I see a problem. Do you see the problem? Yeah, it's right there. See? I cut into my CO2 cartridge. So apparently, I misjudged the length. I thought it was around 80, but apparently I'm wrong. So what I'm going to do is go back to that sketch. So that's OK. I still want to go all the way through. I'm going to hit OK. But you'll notice that I can come back here, open my extrusion by clicking on the plus, and edit the sketch. And so now, I'm going to zoom out a little. You can also see, there's my hand to drag it around that um, this 90 was not quite enough. So I'm going to make it 100. Hit OK. And now when I finish my sketch, doop, it popped it back. So it ends up looking like that. <clears throat> so it scooched it 10 more centimeters. And so it just moves my extrusion. Because this is a design, it's not an actual cut in actual wood. So now I want to give it some shape. I've already got my hollow bits cut out, but notice from the side view, it's still just a triangle, which is not very interesting. So I'm going to use my spline tool here, and I like to start, I don't know, maybe halfway up. And every time I click on here, what I'm doing is I'm giving myself a space to edit. I think I want to end right about there. And I hit the check mark, and I'm going to turn it and see, I think that's enough space, but we'll see here in a second. So now I can grab these little red circles, and I can pull, and I can pull that one and slide it to change how my, to change how my curve looks. I could up it slightly here. The only thing that you're going to have a hard time doing sometimes is moving it when you touch it to an end. So just be aware of that. Sometimes you have to do your spline again if you put it in the wrong spot. So if I make it really wavy, 
which what the heck I might as well right so it's kind of got this nice little funky wave action going on here so it's kind of cool I don't know it's just an example so I'm gonna call it good and I'm gonna finish my sketch I click on the black line again I extrude cut back all the way through now I get that you're gonna say well it's not too bad except that right there I have a problem I cut into the co2 cartridge darn it okay so that's fine I'm just gonna go back open this extrusion and edit that sketch I don't have to delete it I just have to edit it so where I cut was right in here so I'm gonna scooch that so it's up a little higher there and there and we'll see if I can't bring that down a smidge so then we'll finish that sketch and see what happens so notice it zoomed back so now let's see grab it turn it I have not cut into any of my co2 cartridge but I kind of wanted to show you what happens and how you fix mistakes because you're all going to make them because you're human and I make mistakes too so I just kind of wanted to show you that but um, yeah I could be done with it but let's face it it's not very pretty so I'm actually gonna flip it and come back over here to the bottom again and I'm gonna create another sketch on the bottom because I kind of want this front to look better I don't know it's just it's okay but it's not great so I think what I want to do is put like a triangle edge to it and that's kind of hard to do so I'm gonna tr start with coming over here and lining this up right there on that edge and drawing a line see where it goes green that tells me it's in the center and then I'm gonna come over here goes green again and then I'm gonna hit OK so you can see what I did is I basically am gonna make a point on it so then I can finish my sketch and obviously zoom out a little and it helps honestly to do your to do your extrudes when you can see it at an angle so I'm gonna extrude that and this I clicked on two things at once cut all whoops not distance all and okay so now that's what I have so now it looks more like what it should look like so now that's all well and fine but I did forget a little, little bitty piece which is that I have to put wheels on this thing and to put the wheels on I have to know exactly where to drill the axle holes so I'm gonna click on the side here and I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to drop a point I don't know like two points somewhere in there I don't know and that line in between them just basically said they're now lined up with each other but that doesn't mean anything because they're not lined up the way they're supposed to be so I'm gonna click that point and I'm gonna come way out here and click this it is 51.235961 millimeters off the front of the end I'm gonna say let's make that name 50 call it good it has to be at least five millimeters off the bottom at least I'm just telling you the way it is that's in the rule book you have to have it at least five millimeters from the end from the bottom and the reason is because you're gonna drill a three millimeter hole so if it's less than five you're gonna end up drilling a hole that won't hold a axle so um, honestly five is pretty small you might be better off making it bigger and I'll go over that here in just a second let's also make this one 50 so they're even I like even it works but if I don't if I'm looking at going okay six is not quite what I want I'm gonna go seven or I'm sorry five wasn't what I wanted so now I'm gonna go up to seven so now it's seven millimeters up and so I said okay great finish that sketch those that's just my points so now I'm just gonna click on the little red plus and see there's my hole feature I'm gonna say yes I'd like to make a hole and imagine that I really would like to make it three millimeters I click on the other hole and see what it does it puts in two holes at the same time 
So now you can see there are my axle holes and you can see they go all the way through front and back. Now I'm basically going to say that for my purposes this could be done. Yes, I can actually cut away some of this at the back. So let's see, maybe I can do that. Let's see if I can figure out a good solution here. So an easy way to do it would be to draw a rectangle that fits right there. Hit OK. I wonder if I can, yep, there I go. I can spin that a little. OK, so I can now because my, my, I'm not too close to my axle. I don't want it too close to that axle hole. It's so right there where I get my red point into there, and I'm going to say, okay, let's make that a nice even 15. That's enough. 15 millimeters is enough space where I'm not going to risk my axle hole, and I should be low enough not to affect the CO2 cartridge. I can change it if I screw it up. So I hit Finish Sketch. Come over here so I can see the whole thing. And again, the whole name of the game with this is cutting. We're going to cut everything away. So I'm going to do an all. Yep. And then I'm going to look and see what it does. Okay. So I think I'm good. I'm going to hit OK. And then, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a sketch on the very back side. You're going to say, why? Are you going to do something else? No, I'm going to measure. So what I'm going to do is measure from here up and from, yeah, just accept, and from here over. Now, here's the trick. I can't move any of these measurements. I just need them to be correct. So you can see it's not quite centered because I've got 21 from the center of the, of the CO2 cartridge down, about 21 millimeters, and it's about 22 up. It's okay, it's not bad from the center, which means the whole thing's 23, which means it's about five, six millimeters worth of broad space on either side. So we should be good. So all I did there was put on numbers. I didn't cut anything, I was just measuring to make sure it all fit. I've got my axle holes, I've got my design, I should be ready to go. Then, once I think I've got it, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is making the blueprints. But that's for another video. This one is just to give you a general idea of how to get this done quickly and without too much of a problem. So, good luck.